our world there's animals all around And you have questions, can you down? Ranger Ray is here to show By talking to those animal pros With the Critter Calm we see the world A new adventure will unfold You'll become an animal champ Here at Ranger Ray's Animal Camp Well, hey there, everyone. My name is Ranger Ray, and I'm a park ranger here at the Hunky Dory Nature Reserve. Here we take care of all kinds of animals, like bison and wolves and raccoons and deer and so many other animals. And let me tell you, these animals I take care of, they're an inquisitive bunch. So they ask me questions all the time. Like just today, Bentley the squirrel was asking me, why do zebras have stripes? And I told him, I don't know, but I know how we can find out. And if you guys want to come along with me, we'll get the answer together. So let's head over to the Criticom. Let's go. So everyone, this is the Criticom. Say hello, Criticom. Hello, Criticom. Yeah, yeah, he's a, he's a jokester, this one. Oh, come now, just trying to keep things interesting around here. Oh, a little tougher. What was that? Nothing. Now with the Criticom, we can call animals from all around the world. And I think the best animal to help us figure out why zebras have stripes is to go straight to the horse's mouth. Or in this case, the zebra's mouth. Oh, great one, Ranger Ray. How long did it take you to come up with that one? All right, Criticom, can you just call Zeke the zebra already? Hmm, Zeke the zebra. Oh, yes, you mean the striped horse lives on the savanna in Africa, not a fan of lions? Yes, exactly. Nope, never heard of him. Critter come, the show's only five minutes long. All right, fine. Hello. Oh, hey, Zeke. Well, hey there, Ranger Ray. And hey there, Critter come. Lovely to speak to you again, Zeke. Now, I've got a question for you, Zeke. Why do zebras like you have stripes? Oh, that's a great question. Here, let me show you. We have stripes for a bunch of cool reasons. First of all, our stripes help us hide from sneaky predators like lions and hyenas. Now, I've heard of camouflage before. Camouflage is when an animal blends into its surroundings using special colors on its body to blend in. Is it kind of like that? Unless they're going to a White Stripes concert, I doubt that, Ray. Yeah, Crittercom is right. On the savannah, there's lots of browns and yellows all around us, so... Being black and white actually makes us stand out more. Until a bunch of us zebras get together, we line up and stand close to each other so we create a herd of black and white stripes. The predators get all confused by our stripes and can't figure out where one zebra ends and another begins. So we blend in by standing out. Ooh, that's so sneaky. Yep, and our stripes also keep us cool in the hot African sun. Black attracts more heat and white attracts less heat. So when the two are side by side, they help the air flow around our bodies. Kind of like a natural air conditioner. Functional and stylish. Who could ask for more? You got that right. And on the savannah, there's tons of flies and biting bugs that can hurt and bother animals out here. But our stripes actually chase a lot of them away. Our stripes confuse them and they tend to leave us alone. So I guess you could say that zebras are a no-fly zone. Seriously, Ranger Ray, leave the witty comebacks to me. Some more fun facts about our stripes is that they're like human fingerprints. No two zebras have the same stripes, and zebras are actually black with white stripes. If you shaved off all of a zebra's fur, our skin would be black. Our fur is what gives us our stripes. Ah, oh, this has been amazing. Thank you, Zeke, for all your help. Anytime. Now, it's back to the herd for me. See you later. So zebras use their stripes to confuse predators, to keep themselves cool, and to keep pests away. Ranger Ray, can you paint some stripes on me? Why? Because I have a pest that I need to get rid of. A certain park ranger. <laughs> You're so funny. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining us on this adventure. Now remember, stay wonderful and wild, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Ta-ta!